Hey guys, it's Mr. DeMeo, and today I'm going to talk to you about... Y'all know me. Know how I earn a living. I'll catch this bird for you, but it ain't gonna be easy. Bad fish. Not like going down to the pond and chasing bluegills or tommy cods. This shark, swallow you whole. I'll find him for three, but I'll catch him and kill him for ten. For that, you get the head, the tail, the whole thing. Let's just learn about sharks. Can't we learn about birds or aliens? I really don't like sharks. Relax, Andy. You'll be safe in this submarine. How'd you even get a submarine anyway? Did you get it from that weird soggy otter guy we got the spaceship from? No, you actually sell them at Subway. You just actually have to ask for an extra large sub and then they give you it. What? Submarines and mediocre sandwiches. What a business model. Oh no! So what's the plan? Well, 71% of the Earth is made of water. So we're gonna dive into the ocean and look for some sharks. So how do we know what's a shark and what's not? Well, a couple things. Um, a special kind of skeleton that's made of cartilage, um, a specific kind of skin, a certain kind of teeth, mm, special fins, and gills. Their skeleton isn't made of bones? Huh? Nope. Feel in between the nostrils and your nose. That's cartilage, and that's pretty much what a shark skeleton is made of. Now, I've heard sharks are expert hunters, so we need to be safe. You're not kidding. Sharks even have a special superpower called electroreception. What's that? I know what that is! Electroreception simply means the ability to detect electrical currents. To put it simply, this superpower allows sharks to detect the slightest movements in the water. Great! So how many different kinds of sharks are there? Well, scientists believe that there's over 400 different species of sharks. We're only going to talk to a few for this video. We're going to talk to a hammerhead, a great white, a whale shark, and a goblin shark. Yeah. Hammerhead, whale, are all these sharks named after stuff? <gasps> white. What if there's a bubblegum shark? What? Or a chicken parmesan shark. Or a sharky shark shark shark. Huh? You know, sharks have been around for so long that I wouldn't doubt if a shark existed with a name like that. Bingo. While there are no chicken parmesan sharks, Mr. DeMeo is right. Yeah. Sharks are ancient creatures that have existed for an estimated 420 million years. Whoa. Whoa, old sharks. Is that like a grandma shark? Grandpa shark? Grandma shark? Okay, enough. Roberta, give me an example of an ancient shark. Well, how about the most famous of all ancient sharks? The Megalodon. Whoa. What's a Mega Manalodon? I want one. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, stop right there. The Megalodon is an ancient species of shark that existed over two million years ago. Scientists believe that these giant creatures could grow to be over 60 feet long and have a bite stronger than a T-Rex. There aren't any of those around, are there? If so, they could totally eat this submarine. No! Despite what many believe, the Megalodon is extinct. So if you want to see a shark, you should probably start with one of the other ones you named before. How about the hammerhead? Where can I find one of those? All information on current sharks has been erased from my memory. What? Who erased it? The last deletion was by... What? I told you I don't like sharks. It had to be done. It had to be. Wait, I do have one shark clip that survived deletion. Maybe it will tell us where the hammerhead is. Go ahead and play it. All right, enough! So you delete everything but that shark song. What? It's catchy. Roberta, reboot yourself. Let's see if you can get some info back. In the meantime, let's take this puppy deep. See if we can find some hammerheads. Roberta, are you back online? I am. But where are we? I just took a guess and took this puppy to Florida. Are hammerhead sharks found there? Yep. And there are some now. Hammerhead sharks are found worldwide in tropical waters like these. Well, is there only one kind of hammerhead? 
There are nine different species of hammerheads. So which one are these guys? The most popular one of all. The Great Hammerhead. Whoa. Hammerhead, huh? I wonder if there's a screwdriver head, or a pliers head, or an axe head, or a level head. Are you done yet? I guess. So are you going to use your animal communicator to talk to one of these things? I guess so, but hey, there's only one shot left in this thing. Who used all my... I told you, I don't like sharks. You're lucky I even saved you one. Guess we'll save it for a really good one, I guess. Man, this shark is ugly. I'd ask how he got his name, but it's kind of obvious. Is it? I don't really get it. How'd he get his name? Dude, he's got a hammer for a head. You might as well throw him in a toolbox and sell him at Home Depot. Hmm, I guess I never noticed it before. I wonder why his head's like that. There's got to be some kind of nail fish that he hammers into the ground or something. What? Nope. Scientists believe the hammerhead shark's head is shaped like that for two reasons. One, so it can see above, below, and to both sides of him easily. And two, so it can make sharp turns quickly. Oh, I wish I had a hammerhead. You have a watermelon head? What? That's even better. Hey! So how big do these guys get? The great hammerhead can reach up to 20 feet in length and weigh up to 600 pounds. Wow. Hey, why are you even dressed up like a shark anyway? Yeah. To beat the shark, you have to be the shark. So I have become one with the shark people. They're not going to eat one of their own kind. Sorry, but you're wrong. Hammerheads actually eat other shark species. But due to their small mouths, they typically eat rays, shrimp, squids, and small fish. Whoa. And when they eat, they usually do so at night. There goes $15 wasted on Amazon. I should have just dressed up as you. Well, I didn't hear humans on their to-eat list. That's because attacks on humans are very rare. In over 400 years, there have only been 17 documented hammerhead attacks on humans. Wow! And no human has ever died from a hammerhead shark. Can we go to a different species now? This guy is giving me the creeps. Well, sure. The next species is one of the most famous ones of all. The Great White Shark. Here we are at Seal Island in South Africa, a place believed to have more great white sharks than anywhere else in the world. Is this the only place great whites are found? Nope. They can be found on both sides of the United States along South Africa, Australia, Japan, and the Mediterranean. Could have just said everywhere. So why do a bunch of great white sharks hang out around here? Well, great whites eat a variety of things like otters and sea turtles, but they more commonly eat marine animals like dolphins and seals, which is part of the name of this island. Imagine, an entire island filled with your favorite food. Like Pizza Island. Or a Frankenberry Island. No. Wait a second. I've seen Jaws, and I've heard of great whites attacking humans. They don't eat them? While great whites have attacked humans, they prefer foods higher in fat like the animals mentioned before. When great whites attack humans, they are likely confused and think they're something else. I'll admit it. These guys are great, but they're not exactly white. How did they get their name? Great Whites got their name from their skin. Whoa. They have something called countershading, a type of camouflage. The top part of a Great White is gray, and the bottom part is white. Animals looking down into the deep cannot see a shark from above as the dark shade blends in with the ocean floor. Yeah. And animals below a shark looking up cannot see it because the white belly blends in with the sunny surface of the water. Can you think of any other animals that have counter shading? A killer whale? Andy, they're pronounced free willies. Huh? Excuse my blue friend here. He's not as edumacated as us civilized folks. Whatever. So how big do these guys get? Most great whites are 15 to 21 feet and weigh up to 2,400 pounds. Whoa. But there are some reports of great whites reaching up to 37 feet. That's just a few feet shorter than a school bus. Wow. 
So, you can use your one shot on this guy? Uh, while I do love great whites, and I am a huge fan of Jaws, I think I'm gonna save it for another one. Sorry, Mr. Great White. No problem. Did he just... Just what? Never mind. <laughs> What is this guy? This is a whale shark. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Or submarine. Whatever. Whale shark? I didn't know we were learning about whales in this video. Well, technically... I'll take it from here, Roberta. You see, a whale shark is the child of a whale and a shark. They're really different, but they found out they had a lot in common and they made it work. Huh? Wrong, sir. Wrong. A whale shark isn't actually a whale. It's really a shark, but it gets its name from its enormous size. Whale sharks can be up to 46 feet long and weigh up to 12 tons. That's longer than a school bus and heavier than two elephants. In fact, whale sharks are the biggest fish on the planet. Great, and we go face to face with one. Relax, these guys are filter feeding creatures. They open their giant mouths and feed on plankton. That little guy from Spongebob? He doesn't stand a chance against this monster. So where are these guys found? These guys like to live in the open sea and are mostly found in these areas. So what about this guy? You want to make him talk? Mm, I kind of want something a little more unique. I'll wait till the next one. Take us away, Roberta. Spooky. Where are we? For this last shark, we needed to go near the bottom of the ocean floor to see a shark that is rarely ever seen. A goblin shark. Whoa. Scary. What a name. The goblin shark gets its name from a made-up Japanese demon-like creature called a tengu. This fictional creature has a long nose just like the goblin shark. Yeah. So how deep are we? Goblin sharks prefer to swim in waters up to 4,300 feet deep. So we're somewhere around there. It's like total darkness out there. Roberta, turn on the lights. I want to get a look at this guy. That is the ugliest thing I have ever seen. Why does it look like that? If you're talking about its nose, scientists believe that the goblin shark's long snout is an electroreceptor, a tool sharks have that help them detect prey in the water. What about those jaws and teeth? The goblin shark can actually make its jaws come out to attack its prey. Wow! What is its prey? The goblin shark typically eats crabs and squid. Hey, just like your mom, Andy. What? You know, usually I'd be scared. But I kind of feel bad for this thing. He's hideous. Is he at least big? They're surprisingly big. Goblin sharks can reach close to 13 feet and weigh up to 450 pounds. Yeah. Here's your chance, kid. Shoot your shot. What do you mean? You have one shot in the animal communicator, and this is our last shark. So let's make this guy talk. Here goes nothing. Scare me, Dunifish. Oh my gosh, the birth! What? Wait a second. I think I actually speak Goblin Shark. Let me give it a shot. Er, scarf, my derf. Er, snare, my derf. Tur, snurry, fur. Er, my snurfer. I snurf, my nerf again. And I smell real good. But, Jeff Goblin was in Jurassic Park. Kirsten Dern's Tom Hanks. What's he saying? First off, it's a she, and. She was saying that, um, she really likes me, and she doesn't like you at all, and that she's sorry, and that she will see you later? No. Jerk chilling her. Her's a sister, Murgy. Learns crafter Cyril's glasses for Termage Bernie. Why is she looking at me when she says stuff? No reason at all. Thirteen hours later. <laughs> Derp wars, a pirate. Hey guys, thanks for watching. 
This video was made with the help from my patrons on Patreon that are listed below, especially Michelle and Conrad and Zeno. Want to see my videos early? Get your name in a video? See behind the scenes and pick my next topic? Become a patron on Patreon. Check the description box for a link. Er skirt my derp. Er snare my derp. Curse the derp. Stir my derp. <laughs> skirt my derp. Purple er dessert. Where's a stir to share beer bricks? Just a curse, sir. Er the curse to beer.